All right, it's Sunday morning, the uh, 20th, 30th. Um, this is a Doyle two-stroke engine from the possibly the late 1940s, early 1950s. It's a very, very simple engine. Doyle was a company out of, or was it was a company out of New York. They built their own, you know, small uh, uh, outdoor power equipment tools. The only two Doyle pieces of equipment I've ever seen that used this particular engine were a uh, hedge trimmer and a real lawnmower. The hedge trimmer had uh, one of those flexible shafts. This was this engine was mounted on a cart on the ground. Had a flexible shaft driven off of the the uh, shaft right here. You know, went through a coupler, and you know, you had your hedge trimmer to it, uh, that was coupled to it. <clears throat> this engine, I don't know what came off of it. I picked it up at a show a couple months ago. I'm just working on cleaning it up now. Let's see. You can see the piston down through the exhaust port here. Bring it around. Right there. There's two rings. Simple point ignition with a little access panel on the flywheel here to get at the points. There's an intake with a carburetor bolts on too with a a weight there. Here's the, here's the carburetor. Very, very simple. Just a aluminum carburetor body which mounts up like this. Your, uh, your check valve or your reed valve, not a reed valve, but you know, your one-way valve. Really nicely built actually. Nice steel body and a nice steel valve there. Spring loaded. <laughs> that sits right in your carburetor like this. This is your valve body, your needle valve body. Bolts on your carburetor right here. That's your, uh, what do you call that? Uh, your little spray tube or whatever. I forget the actual name for it. Just sits right in there like that. Your needle valve with this little knob on it. I believe this little knob is uh, from the factory because uh, the other wheels I've seen have this knob. When I first saw this on the carburetor, I, it looked like somebody had added it on later. It doesn't you know? Just the aluminum construction doesn't you know? Doesn't look like the rest of the engine doesn't look like the same you know machining techniques. This point's in good shape, which is good. Simple there. There's your fuel fitting. Real simple gas tank. Little check valve, similar to any old Lawson engine or any old Briggs engine. Hear the check valve shaking in there. And a little piece of copper fuel line. The engine bounce, uh, mounts to a strange base with these four mounting feet right here. Get that. Mounts to this base right here. See the four feet go in these four holes. It has this strange thing which might have been a handle or other strange mounting feet on the other sides. Don't know. And the shroud. The only identification on it. Doyle Manufacturing Corporation. Syracuse, New York. Some oil mixing instructions right there, and that's about it. All in all, very simple engine. I'll have a video of this running in a little while.